Bottom line. It's the stuff. Welcome to Transformations with Tara Sutphin. Tara Sutphin is the author of Blame It on Your Past Lives, Soul Agreements, and The Abenda Chronicles. Grammy-nominated audios, videos, and MP3 series. You can find these MP3 series now at TaraInsight.com. Hey, welcome to Transformations with Tara. This is Tara Sutton, and my guest and co-host is Jason D. McCain. Good morning. And he is the voice of over a million OM recordings throughout the world, and OM Indigenous, OM Eternity, OM Sanctuary, right? Eternal OM, uh, OM Beats. OM Beats? 108 Sacred OM. <laughs> What am I missing? Uh, oh, no, no, I said Om. Om uh, Shiva Shakti Namaha. Ah, well, yeah. Yeah, all, all of those those uh, great Om titles that are out there in the world. Um, you know, doing the work of creating uh, peace and, uh, you know, used, you know, through uh, meditation practices. You know, it's just like... Uh, a, a colleague was was using it as a background for a, a class not too long ago, and uh, she said that it just like it, it does that work of, of putting people into a a much calmer you know spiritual space. So um, it, it works. Yeah, it is beautiful. Very yeah, the, the ohm you know is is the sound of it's like the universal tone, and, and so it's just uh, incredible. So good morning, Tara. Good morning. I'm going to put up my chair a little bit. We were putting it down yesterday. I'm doing astrology um, of lectures and stuff with Matthew Engel. So we we had to be at the same height. You know, uh, he's, in here, he's like a little tall. Yeah, because you know, now all of a sudden it's like. Right. It's like you're sitting at the kids' table or something. Right. It's like, right. <laughs> right. It was pretty funny. Pretty funny, actually. But we love it. It's It's coming along very nicely. So we're starting to take. And what is that exactly? Well, we're we're doing. Um, we started. We started with the U.S. Sibley, and everybody probably got a chance to watch that. That's um, I put it up on YouTube just so they could see uh, exactly kind of like where we're going. So we're we're doing some U.S. things. We might do some world history and world events. Um, but, and we'll do a lot of different events and people, people, places, and things. Mm-hmm. And if there's a birth time on it, then or a, a project time or something, you know, horary horoscope on it, then we're gonna we're gonna pick it up and we'll read it. Nice. So I like that. Time. I like that the magician is peeking behind your shoulder. Yeah, the magician. Then I have the wizard. The wizard on the other side. Well, like. And then we have Lahiri over here, who what, what, is uh, Maharaji's teacher. Huh? But, but who's who's the wizard? Like, let's move your head. Oh. Oh, is it the hermit? Well, that, that's no. a magician. No, that's a magician. No, that is the wizard right there. Oh, 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 on the on the table. That's right. on the, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. place there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was on the, the uh, fireplace. On, on the backing there. The so fire place in the in the vortex, my face. But it's it's just like uh, you know having that that magician right there on your shoulder. It's like he's uh, he can like uh, give you some good advice. Yeah, so you have two. I have two good advisors on both sides of me. <sighs> Excellent. Yeah. So with your your astrology, is it an astrology podcast? Is that no, we're not going to do these podcasts. They're going to be like teachables or, uh, you know, courses of some kind. And so they're, they're available on YouTube. Yeah, they'll be. No, not on YouTube. They'll be no that one. We just threw up on YouTube, but no, they won't be available on YouTube probably. Okay. Yeah, they'll be more like you know, there's a fee to, you know, you. But the astrologers are people who just want to listen. Like I, you know, I have a lot of ears. Uh, in the world that want to, um, you know, just know about different things. So, yeah, it's fun. 
Right. So you'll make it a, a known space where people can find it on your website or so. They can say, oh, yeah, I, I want to listen to it, and they can subscribe to it or mm-hmm. do, do what's necessary. Sorry. Yeah, we don't have all of that worked out, but we're we're on the way to some of that, yeah. And, you know, everybody paints a different picture, you know. Nobody's doing this really on the Internet, so it, it's fun for us just to – and, and man, we we have to really put on the brakes because you know we're we're full speed ahead when we're deciphering like what's happening now with the U.S. You know, astrologically. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, fun. 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 And and against you know different different things you know we we'll look up. Yeah. And see, and see what kind of timing it is, because um, it, it's kind of an interesting time right now. Very interesting. And it comes up in the, definitely in the sibling. Yeah. Uh, so, so what's our theme today? Our theme is we rarely see ourselves as others do. <clears throat> we we rarely see ourselves. I, yeah, I would say that we get glimpses of ourselves, but we don't really see ourselves, do we? We can only see like a reflection of ourselves, right? Like when we're looking in the mirror, it's like we we've never seen our face. <laughs> we've only seen a reflection of our face. Mm-hmm. That's right. So it's very interesting, you know, when you, we we are such um, interesting creatures this way. I I think. You know, not to say creatures, maybe humans. We're interesting. We're, we're yeah, there's, there's some people I would say, yes, definitely a creature. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, well, and we all can become, you know, kind of based with not giving enough love or not being uh, enough in our good, in our in our good juju, you know. So, um, yeah, and I wrote it down a couple things like, you know, um, self-awareness. Like how how we are self aware, like our good traits and our bad traits, and how we project ourselves onto other people, or how they project themselves onto us, and how do we handle that? So how would you handle it, Jay? <clears throat> well, you know what's funny is I wrote that word down too. Oh, is is self awareness because I think that that self awareness is a it, it's connected to our our spirituality mm-hmm. and our our ideals. You know, because right. it's like we we do have um, principles, ideals that that we we look to live well, by. Not everybody lives by values and principles and spiritual thoughts. Well, thought. they can be at all levels, right? It's like an yeah. ideal can be like I'm just going to survive. You know, it's just I, I'm just going to look out for me. You know, doesn't mean that it's it's like looking out for others. You know, it can be more at that that base level. But it's mm-hmm. like, you know, when you when you have a, a creed, you know, that you live by. Yeah. It's like, you know, that that plays into self awareness and in your actions and how it is that your um, how, how your inner world is is aligning with how others perceive you. You know, just that that outside yourself, that outside world. Um. So, you know, being able to cultivate self-awareness, you know, that that's a uh, a huge part of just knowing yourself, right? Being very self-aware. Be careful now. <laughs> yeah, right. You did. He breathed, breathed out really quietly. <laughs> I'm careful, Mom. I'm careful. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, you don't want him to, like, just sneeze on you. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sneezer with that little nose. Yeah. 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 Ten and a half, three quarters. Going on 11. This one. Ah. So, so, bowling ball. So, so you wrote self-awareness there. It's like, like. Self-awareness. How, how does that, that play in for you as far as like this, um, this, this idea of being able to, uh, you know, see your, yourself and, and then, you know, when you're when you're able to get glimpses 
from others about how they see you too? Well, I think self-awareness, when I think of self-awareness, I think of how do you treat others? That's some self-awareness. Are, are you treating people well? Because their reaction is how it is interesting. I always find that, and, you know, like it's correlating. You know, so the, uh, how you treat people mm-hmm. is how you become self-aware. Okay. Oh, did I pick up the – Anyway, Sophia doesn't really like to be picked up, so I didn't pick her up. But, she, but, but she's she's jealous? Mm-hmm. A little miss, uh, a little miss from Brazil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're so cute, too. Yes, you are. So, yeah. So. So, so how how you how you treat others as far as is that yeah, when, when your actions I, are reflected in others how how they respond to I that? I think that is the response. Re, yeah, it's it's your um, yeah because I I believe that uh, that's how you become self aware. You can become self conscious, or you can become self aware. And if you become self aware, you can become self actualized by by becoming a little more aware of yourself and and realizing that how you react to people and how you how you uh, receive others and how you help others is definitely comes through self actualization and that's when your awareness becomes even better <clears throat> right. when, you're, when you're taking responsibility for your the words you say the acts that you do the you know, a- anything that, that that you do in life that you take some responsibility for. So what happens if if you do the, the same actions towards two different people and get two different responses? Well, I mean, everyone's different, of course. And, and uh, just let's take it uh, interesting enough, just a, a little bit of uh, a little act is smiling. You know, a lot of people don't smile back. They're afraid. They go, oh. you know, you smiled, and I, I can't smile. You know, I, I, I smile all the time. People don't smile back, but but I know they take it with them. Like, oh, I wish I'd smiled. She had a nice smile, you know. She was going to be nice to me. Yeah, I mean, you know, or they just, you know, I can't smile. They they justify it. You know, I can't smile because I, I, I just can't right now. I'm too sad or whatever it is. But, you know, you just smile at people. Just, uh, you know, and that's a reaction. And so is is that a, against me as a, like a, how others see me? No, I don't. It's nothing. Yeah, I mean, and I don't take it as a a slight in any way. If they do or they don't. So as a matter of, as a matter of self awareness, being aware of yourself, it's like you you're aware that that you do something because it's of your nature. It's like you, you you want to do it, and and how it is received that that's that's not always on on you right it's it's like i get it's like you're playing tennis right you Mm -hmm. hit the ball over onto their side of the net and it's like it's up to them how they're going to respond to that right they let let it pass so they can hit the ball back you know and 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 that that we're not necessarily playing a game so you know, because even if somebody says hi, that doesn't mean I'm going to be in a conversation. You know, you're just pushing someone well at that moment. You know, I'm usually on a big agenda. You know, my, my agenda is getting to an airport, getting, you know, I'm, I'm on a meeting, an appointment. You know, I'm usually on an agenda. Right. Yeah, it's, it's the, the environment, you know, that if it's like if you're in a party situation and you smile, you say hi to someone. If they like, oh, what does this person want from me? You know, then then that's like, that, that's more on 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 them, right? Yeah. If you're uh, out uh, in a in a, a strange or environment or where there's a lot of strangers, you know, just yeah. then then it can be like where everyone's a little bit more wary, a little bit more self-contained. Mm-hmm. Um, so so the environment that that matters, right? As far as like you know, how people are going to reflect, you know, your, your yourself. Right. <clears throat> but I do it, I do it through even, even, uh, you know, at the gas station or something. I, like, I'll be a surprise. 
I was like, really scary? You said hello to that person? You know, like, I didn't want to open up conversation with just anybody. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but I guess I feel they need it at the moment they need it. Mm-hmm. So I'll just say, hey, how you doing? You know, go past them. Yeah. All right. So All it's right. a wishing of goodwill. So I think that, you know, do I expect that everybody wishes me goodwill or that, you know, uh, no, no. And I, I, you know, some people are are givers instead of receivers. I would say that sometimes it's hard for me to receive and because I can give. But the thing is, is that it should be always even. It should always be even in some capacity. And I may receive, you know, like from my pets or from you guys, you know, my siblings or my children, my friends, you know, everybody I talk to on Facebook or Instagram, you know. But right. I mean, just to, to clarify, when you're saying that, that you know, there's, there's balance, is that within the individual, that, that balance of being able to be equal in how one receives, how, how one gives, the, the give and take? No, it's not going to be that either because, you know, some people – will want to entertain me or want to talk to me, and it's great. But, you know, I'm I'm always so busy. I'm a very, you know, I have a lot of clients. I have a lot of appointments. I have a lot of, you know, you know, I have a set agenda of what I do, you know, courses, the gym, you know. So, you know, it's, it's taking care of dogs. You know, there's you have only so much time in a day mm-hmm. to do your thing. So. You know, how do you want to spend your time? But definitely it's great to to be aware that what you give to others sometimes pumps up their day, you know, as far as, like, just holding space for them. So that's what generally I, yeah, I feel is, is a self-awareness. Mm-hmm. I'm wishing good goodwill. I think I wish goodwill on anyone that I see downtrodden. I'm always, you know, if I can't help them personally, it's like, you know, sentinel, so you please leave them to safety. I mean, because, you know, you see so many people in such a dire situation these days. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard. <clears throat> yeah. It is really tough. So, you know, you do what you can do. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, how it is that we align ourselves to so that, you know, when, when we recognize, you know, who we are at our core and mm-hmm. and, and those, those higher ideals that we're looking to embody, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, that's, that's our work <laughs> is to, you know, as, as people, as sentient beings to – to take that that knowledge of who it is that that we are at our core, and to and to put it out there, to to enact it, to activate it, to embody it, to let others know, because that's that's the clearest way of of communicating that. You know, so we we can do that in in words, but but sometimes words fall short. You know, it's it's easier to speak something than to do something. You know. It's, it's easier to you know say oh yeah yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do that right um, right I'm, I'm thinking now of like my wife saying uh, can you take out the trash it's like yeah 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 I'll, I'll do that in a second <laughs> it's easier just to like say it rather than like okay stand up you know go right. out grab it you know throw it away um, <laughs> right. but you know that that's like an example of of, of things that you know. We there's, there's levels of of embodying something, activating it, so that that we're in a place of of deep knowing about you know who it is that that we are and and what we're um, you know what we're what we're doing here on on the planet. Right. Well, I find you know I mean what what happens in your mind is you're a clear thinking human. There is no confusion. So your clarity comes down into your articulation, your voice, and then comes into your solar plexus and you act upon it. So you, this is becoming in sync and in balance. So the thing is, is that how do you become 
in balance. I, I think it's meditation, it's uh, a lot of mind programming, uh, exercise, good food. You know, these are things that you just wrestle them, wrestle them, come back to it, come back to it. You know, like somebody was telling me yesterday that they have a, a spot on their pancreas. And I was really thinking, oh, no, you know, so what do you do? Like, you know, I took that, that moment, like, how, what are you doing for yourself? And so they were telling me what they were eating and drinking and stuff. And I, all I did was, and I, I try to, you know, always be positive and be um, gracious with people. But I just made the suggestion, oh, why don't you maybe just add this too? Because, you know, it was just such, um, uh, you know, a diet that, you know, doesn't really support your wellness. So I was you know I it was just you know hard but I you know wanted to put in a little bit of you know hope there yeah bring back their their strength and wellness yeah yeah you know and that's uh you know like having self-awareness of our own <clears throat> our mm. physical nature yeah. you know you, you know it's funny as I because because that that magician over your shoulder yeah. is yeah. so like like prevalent. It's he has his hand up, going, "I, I want to say something. I want to say something." <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. And, and oh. the example of that, you know, is the magician is is like a is a card of awareness. You know that that one can manifest what they desire. It's it's uh you know it takes some doing. Actually, his. One hand is up, one is below. <laughs> God. Yeah. One, one hand is up, the other is, is pointing towards earth. It's as above, so below. Yeah. And, and so being able to to recognize the, the, the spiritual, the, that higher self, but to, to use that as as a fuel, you know, to um, uh, manifest, to, to embody these principles – of, of what it is that you're you're looking to to create, and and, and giving them a uh, you know this this higher this higher octane this higher source octane you know of uh, spirituality, so that your your actions are not just like base actions, but mm-hmm. they they have like a, a higher intent to them. You know, so um, the, the the trick is always about you know making sure that who it is that that you are it's like with with clarity you know communicating that out in into the world yeah so that you um you don't add to people's confusion about you if if you're you know if you're in a a state where you know you're not clear about who you are you can confuse people you know, yeah. you can you can keep them like uh, guessing, and you know, is, does that inconsistency does that work for you, or does it work against you in in what you're you know looking to to create in life? Well, you know, um, like with listening and people, you know, what what are, what do you do for them? Of course, you know, you're a soother. And I'm a, definitely a soother, and um, through hypnotherapy, you know, I can really help somebody. And Jason, too, is a hypnotherapist. So, you know, we can just move them into, you know, a, a greater a greater listening uh, and that deeper level on what somebody really needs. And so I think that's the, the gift that we give to others, and I really – appreciate that and I love to listen to others on a deeper level as well you know even their little cries for help you know definitely was like clicking in you know I click in quite quite a bit on that sort of thing yeah yeah and and usually the those cries they they pertain to a a deeper layer or a, a layer that you know if you listen you can you can see that layer Mm-hmm. And and then you can report it back to the person, and say this is what this is what I'm I'm hearing. This is what I'm seeing. You know, you know where you're coming from, and you know that that's a 
uh, a combination of, of one's own self-awareness, you know, like coming in, into play for someone else so that they can be uh, aware also of, of their, their own patterns and, and their own blind spots. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like being able to see your own blind spots is difficult because that's exactly what makes it a blind spot. Right. Right. Yeah. And how are you acting out? How are you reacting to others? You know, these are, you know, how are you in embodying everything that you believe, like being a good person, being a great mother, being a great sister, being a great daughter? You know, I mean, you're a great daughter, too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, just. Anything like that, you know, I mean, where are you looking for, it's not validation, it's just wholesomeness and living your life to, uh, you know, to a, a better standard, like to the standard that you, you're, you're achieving whatever it is that you think that you need to achieve in this life because there's some kind of brownie points we're all after. Yeah, you know, it, it's uh not that different from like kindergarten or wherever where, you know, the teacher mm-hmm. reward rewards us with a, a gold star, you know. I right. think I, I had a lot of gold stars when I was a kid. Did you? Not as many. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get as many as you do. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. You do get a lot of gold stars. <laughs> You you needed gold stars. I guess I needed them. Right. Um, you know, it's like uh, just like uh, satisfied my my, my Leo ness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have all that that gold stars. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> no, but uh, you know, like at a at a basic level, right? That that is a form of validation, and and there, there's nothing wrong with again va- validating that who it is that we think we are that that we're putting that out there in, into the the world right. and you know if if those around us are are honest too then then we'll get honest feedback you know if we if we surround ourselves with people who are you know just well, confused um, about themselves they might be confused, confused yeah. or or fearful Mm-hmm. About like saying you know the wrong thing that'll you know like make us upset if if they're not like you know stroking our ego or if they're mm-hmm. you know uh, it, it it can can lead to uh, it, a, a picture of ourselves that is not clear and and looking for honest appraisal you know from from others so that we can be better that we can improve ourselves if um, you know, and I, I had the the good fortune of being in uh, in sports when I was a lot younger, when I was like a little kid, like eight, nine, ten, mm-hmm. and I was a state track champion. You know, like in in California when I was that young, and and mm-hmm. it's like you know the the people that were coaching me, I'm, I'm I'm surprised at how like you know driven they were. You know, like for you know like an eight year old kid, nine year old kid, they're like you know, kill them. You know, they were like, you know, just really like, you know, really pushing oh, yeah. me to like excel. Right. And, you know, I, I, I don't uh, fault them for that. Court, the coaches were little mini war generals. Yeah. 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 They, they were like, uh, you know, it's like, I mean, it sounds like it was kind of validating their their whole existence too, you know, by right. uh, producing these these champions, right? You know, when they're well, they're living vicariously. <clears throat> through you. Now, see, that's how others see you. They saw you as a champion, and so they wanted you to put your your very best into it. Because if you didn't, you know, because cause you can be a champion and then lollygag around, you know, and not click in because you don't believe in yourself. But somebody sees in you; they see something great. So they saw something great in you, Jason. So they wanted to, you know, enhance that. Yeah. And, and you know, many people don't see in themselves. You know, I see greatness in people all the time. 
but they're not willing to activate it, you know, and that's just it. When I talk to you about being the Elm Tarot Wizard, you know, I saw greatness. And so the thing is, is that activate it. And you did. And look at you. You know, it's, it's like world-renowned wizard now. Yeah. You were just in L.A., you are a wizard. Now you're in the world. But, yeah, I mean, and, you know, that's the, the beautiful thing. And, and you know, seeing those visions of people and knowing that, you know, they can strive to be better and they can strive to be well and they can strive to be happy. You know, it's all a choice. But but you you have to have them listening. You know, like I, I'll think of some of my clients, they listen on such a level and it's fantastic to watch them get awards and get and and just get their health just amazingly on track and all of it because they actually have taken the you know, they're doing the work. They they're taking the time to to actually, you know, motivate themselves to to gain what they want. But but take that. So, you know, I so I don't know so much of how others see me, but I see such, you know, I, I think that I'm that coach of, yeah, come on, you can do it. Yeah, I mean, people speak very highly of you. Yeah, well, and, and but that's because I'm motivated to keep a certain level of, of you know, standard. My integrity is high as far as, you know, I wish the very best for people on the planet. I think that if we all just really keep kept on going forward in the most positive and, and graceful way, that, gosh, isn't life going to get better and better? Life can't help but get better and better. You know, weird things happen. You know, my horse, one of my horses died. Weird things happen. You know, it's life sad part of life but still life you know so you know you get back on track dust yourself off you know who knows where that leads i work with a lot of horses yeah i'm, I'm, I'm sorry too. about your, your horse yeah 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 she was a great horse but you know she was an older horse but you, just because they're old doesn't mean that they're not just as great and part of the family yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Well, she, she, yeah, she was 30, 30 something, 31 probably. She's, um, uh, yeah, but she, I had her for 17 years. Yeah. So she was my extra horse and my, because anybody could ride her. Kids, anyone could ride her. She was great. She was a great horse. I don't know that I ever rode her. No, you didn't. You rode Paloma. Yeah. 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 I, I, I haven't ridden in a while. Yeah. Well, obviously 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Yeah, oh, no. She was, she was yeah. a great horse for everybody. You know, for me, I really loved riding her because she was, I, I preferred, even though, you know, I have Lyrica. I love Lyrica so much. I I preferred to ride Bella a lot because she was an incredible athlete, professional athlete. So there was no laziness or no, you know, she, but yet she had been on, you know, in every polo ground of the world probably, you know. So she was just a horse that wasn't afraid of anything and just holds that sacred space for anywhere she was. She was fantastic. Fantastic horse. Yeah. So so I was really lucky to have her. So lucky. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, but so, you know, so I saw such greatness in her, you know, and she'd never been a pet. That was interesting. That was an interesting transition for her, too, because being a professional athlete, all of a sudden having to be a pet, it came very hard for her the first maybe a year and a half, two years. She she didn't know what to expect from me if I was going to, you know, just all of a sudden be off or send her somewhere else or to, she didn't know what was expected of her, that she could just be, you know, really, a, you know, our muffin. 
She didn't have to be a, yeah, <laughs> you know, work too hard. Yeah. She had to learn to kiss and cuddle. Okay. Uh. Yeah. And at first they were like, yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah, because you've been handled by men. So she she wasn't, she didn't know about the kissing and cuddling part at all. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know about that either. Whereas Lyrica, on the other hand, if she could sit in your lap, she would. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. kissing and cuddling part comes really, really easy for her. Yeah. And then not really the, the hardcore work, although she was in training for many, many years, seven and a half years, because she's uh, she's the daughter of a champion. So, yeah. When I kept her, I kept her up to her speed, her level of, you know, if she was ever in the ring, she could, she could handle it and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know if she's missing Bella at all? Yeah. She's already, she's lost some weight and she's, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's very quiet. Mm. Not, not her usually uh, sunny personality, so she's pretty quiet. Hmm. Yeah. It's like we all grieve in, in different ways. Well, horses have memories, you know, big, big, strong memories like elephants. Yeah. You know, they really remember everything and everyone. So she just, she's not too, she's not too happy about it. Yeah. But, you know, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. All right. Yeah, she'll get scrubbed a lot more. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> what to do? Yeah. Have to be. She's not leaving a speck of dust on me. <laughs> like, what are animals without their, their, uh, like, their dust and, and all? It's like, you know, the, our dogs, you know. It's like we, we were in, uh, uh, in Las Vegas last weekend. Mm-hmm. And it was windy and it was, Dusty. <laughs> it dusty. was like that. That that town is is dusty, and uh, you know, just like coated. <laughs> it's just uh-huh. like, uh, yeah. but they're like happy as clams, you know, just as happy, oh, yeah. happy. It's like, yeah, this as is. As long as they're uh, with you, they don't mind. Uh huh. Right. I know. I know. Cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, cute, cute little ones you have. Cavaliers, King Charles Cavaliers. Ruby, mm-hmm. the cutest. They, they help to to keep me uh, centered, grounded, sane, um, happy. You know, they're they're great dogs. You know, an- another word that I, I wrote down, you know, about um, this this idea of, of how how others see us and all is is perception, mm-hmm. and 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 how it is that that we can. Um, just work on on our our perception, or you know, work on looking to see where our own center sense of of uh, you know center is. And um, and I think that if we're able to you know know who it is that 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 we are in that, we can mm-hmm. we can then like sometimes step out of that that place of center to see where someone else is at. And and to see what they're they're going through, you know, seeing what their environment is, what their uh, obstacles are, you know, anything like that, and then then we're we're able to kind of gauge where, um, you know, that just kind of see where where they are on on the path of of their own path, and right. so and so the. You know, it's it does tie into the self awareness and and all, but um, it, you know, because you you talk about like seeing greatness in someone else, you know, you, you're mm-hmm. you're seeing their potential, yeah. right? And um, you know how how it is that we you know come into our own potential is it's usually through opportunity. You know, it's like that's mm-hmm. that's uh, a lot of of the magic. Of, of how it is that we 
you know, bring success into our, our being is, is not that we just like snap our fingers and we're successful. It's like we, we attract opportunities that allow us to, um, you know, uh, come into them with, uh, with a sense of ourself that it's like, I need to, you know, push myself in this or succeed in this. And, and so we, we rise within those opportunities and that that's what brings the, the success. And so, you know, that, that magical ascension from 98 pound weakling to, you wow. know, uh, someone who is, who's found like the, themselves in a, a stronger position. It's like, you know, being able to, to, you know, see those those areas of potential within ourselves, so that that we're uh, you know able to fulfill them. We're, well, we're, I think it's motivation. You have to move in the direction of what you want. If you don't move in the direction, the universe doesn't know. It doesn't know what you want. You have to you have to make it clear. Because the the more that you're stumbling around, and you know the universe just thinks that you're stumbling around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that you know, giving voice to something that that's that's part of it, you know, doing the uh, the, the work of it, that's, that's the other you know part of it. Um, right. But you know, finding that that motivation, right? right. It, it's like I I think that 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 is also a part of um it, like having that that motivation validated, and, mm-hmm. and and it is part of how others around us. Well, if, if they if they see our potential, they'll they'll be supportive of it. You know, if, if they if they don't see it or if they don't give voice to it, then then we can be a, a little bit more just you know spinning around in circles in, inside of ourselves. Right. 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 Well, and 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 again, how do others see us? Do they see that you're spinning around in circles? Or are they seeing something else? You know, where where is your, you know, what what are you showing your? How are you showing yourself to others? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You definitely know what's wrong and what's right. There's there's no doubt on that. You know, I mean, if you know somebody is like completely altering their mind all the time, then so that that's what you're that's the, what you're into is altering your mind. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you know, it's not about, you know, you're medicating yourself over your reality. So wh- where are you coming back into? Who would you like to be in this life? What what really do you want? Because cause it's here. It's here for you. You just have to be willing to be brave enough to get it. Yeah, and, and the outside world, mm-hmm. meaning, you know, the, the environment, that's that's outside of ourself and it can be the people in our lives you know mm-hmm. if, if we're if we're either stagnant or we're not showing like that we're we're willing to do you know to to step it up to, to activate something it's like you know they can pull back and say oh you know i i know you've got potential there but mm-hmm. i'm i'm not willing to to, to just you know keep being your cheerleader or, you know, be, be supportive in that uh, unless, um, you know, it's like you're, you're willing to, to do your part in it and to, and to, and to push. Well, I, I, I think that maybe if you're their therapist, I mean, that comes up, you know, where, where, you know, that they lose touch and then they want validation or they, or they need some support. So that I don't mind at all. I, my thing is, is that the non-recognition of it, you know, like, uh, you know, people will will fight for their limitations over and over again. They fight for them. Mm-hmm. You, they fight for ill health. They fight for no money. They fight for, and it's like, wow, you know, I mean, over and over and over you watch it. And it, and it, I don't have a lot of judgment about it. I just think that it's karma. You know, they're just not getting out of their way. They've. They've justified their life in some area where they, you know, you know, they're going back and forth. 
Yeah. And, and you know, it's like usually a, a therapist is usually wired to be able to, to recognize those things. But, you know, sometimes family members, you know, partners, mm-hmm. spouses, kids, you know, friends, they, they aren't wired for the, uh, the, the long haul all the time and unless they're in a, a similar like mindset or so where it's just like a can be a uh like a, a, a group energy yeah. <laughs> you know where it's like they're either not um you know getting um you know the the results or the the that uh validation of of accomplishment that that you know I think we we all um, I, I think we all need, you know, as far as like we, we look to, you know, find those areas where, where we're, uh, you know, finding happiness or, or success or, you know, if it's, if it's just, you know, more of just surviving or, you know, that, that can just lessen that fuel in, inside of us. Right. You know, where, where we feel like we're, uh, like, like we matter. Right. That's right. What? Where do we matter? Where? What is mattering to to anybody who's who's looking to you know? I mean, do you do you see what matters to other people as well, though? Yes, <laughs> to answer your question. Yeah, I, I see it. Um, it it's uh, it, you know finding ways to communicate that to them so that they understand what they they want for themselves and and to um you know not go into places of fear about it to to go too far ahead on the on the calendar and and try to lock in you know the their own future when when it's like they they need to kind of come back more to the, the, the present and, um, you know, deal with some things there, you know. So, so yes, as far as, you, you know, it, it is, it can be seen. You know, I, you have that ability. Um, I, I have that ability, you know, to, to, to see that for, for others. Um, and, and can people, you know, work on it for themselves? Absolutely. You know, that, right. that's self-awareness. You know, um, yeah, and, I, you know, I, I want to point out to everybody today, today it's a full moon tonight hmm. at 8 o'clock. So, um, and it is the pink moon, pink full moon. What does that mean? It's it's just the pink hue, I think, of the moon through through the spring, mm-hmm. the springtime. It's a Native American term for it. So... Yeah, so anyway, it's not really – what it means this, this time is it's about um, 24 degrees uh, airy. So it's still – we're in this portal. It's a blue moon, what they call blue moon, because we've had two moons this month. Right. So so it's great. It's kind of a really fun moon. Nice, you know. So, so really open it up because, you know, there's a lot of holiday that's happening today as well. So um, open up that portal to really, you know, put in, like, maybe mercy and beauty, harmony. It's, it's um, you know, you're going into uh, a time of, of what, do, what things do you want? You know, what do you desire? So, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's really a, the, the other portal time here in April. Yeah, new security. You want a new job? You want to study? Looking to be happy, healthy, wise. Yeah, these time. So the full moon tonight is really a full moon. Excellent. Yeah. That that's uh, that's really great. Mhm. So is it considered like a blue pink moon? Yeah, it's a blue pink moon. So it's kind of maybe a purplish, like a lavender. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Right. So, um, yeah, usually um, 
two uh, were were starting to do seminars. What kind of seminars are you doing right now? Um, I'm I'm doing my my classes like three three a week, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday, and then I'm going to be doing another self publishing uh, workshop, you know, through through Amazon. Mm-hmm. Um, that that's going to be in May, I think the maybe a Saturday, so sometime in the afternoon, where a lot of people from the East Coast and all can can come in. But it, it's uh, it's really great information for for those who are looking to self publish a book. Um, I I just finished the second book. It's uh, I, I'm going to announce it in a couple days, and um, and, and I'll, I'll make it available. Mm-hmm. But it's a it's a, a tarot journal for uh, anyone who's like uh, beginning reading or uh, you know wants something that's a little bit more formatted and and, and formal and and wants to understand the, the three card spread. A little right. uh, more clear. So, so that is, uh, you know, uh, on that, and uh, you know, lo- lots of uh, lots of book projects. Okay. How about uh, yourself? I'm well. I um, and we're not going to do the uh, May um, uh, Shaman Apex because of Swalkanum is. He has a date with the Seattle Symphony. What? And so we are going to change the date again. <laughs> yes. And so, but we're very proud of Spokane. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. Woo-hoo. And so Woo-hoo. we are going to go ahead and we're, we're going to powwow here and uh, uh, go ahead and, and uh, to let each other know when we're available. So, yeah, so that would be really good. Yeah, yeah no, that, that's, a, that's a great uh, – you know, uh, time for him yeah. to be playing. You know, oh, it's going to be magnificent, magnificent yeah. musician and composer. So, yeah, way to go. Um, wh- where can people uh, find you, Tara? At TaraInsight.com, dot com, T A R A I N S I G H T dot com. Lots of lots of things to look at on my website to do. I mean, how about you, Jason? Um, Jason D. McKean, J-A-S-O-N-D-M-C-K-E-A-N.com, and uh, that, that has my uh, class schedules. And, um, you know, it's like the, the Facebook, the Instagram, Jason Terrell Wizard. It's like, um, you know, lots of uh, fun posts, uh, you know, a lot of, like, throwback stuff that uh, that you've posted on Facebook and uh, you know it's just uh, keeps it all, all very uh, high energy yeah yeah it's very fun anyway happy full moon tonight yeah it's light a candle and, uh, lots of prayers yeah and that culmination time highest the highest energy of the world moving yeah. all the waters of the world you said it was eight. About eight o'clock. I forget exactly when it's in Pacific time. Pacific time. It is. Um, not exactly sure yet. Eight something. <laughs> Eleven thirty Eastern time, I think. <clears throat> right. Eleven thirty. Yeah. All right. So it's eight thirty, maybe. Pacific. Thank you, Tara. Blessings too. Lots of love, everybody. Lots of blessings. Jason, love you, too. Thank you for listening to Transformations with Tara. Tara hopes this program brings guidance and insight towards a better tomorrow. If you have any questions or inquiries, or would just like to know more about Tara Sutphin's workshops and seminars or private sessions, please visit her website now at TaraInsight.com. Until